welcome to the 2022 Micro Games. Reporting live from the studio, you are currently watching the relay race depicting the EGFR slash RAS pathway. On the track today are two teams. Let's meet our runners. The first protein of the EGFR slash RAS pathway is EGF, which binds to EGFR. EGFR in its inactive state is made of two monomers, each with an extracellular EGF binding site and an intracellular tyrosine kinase domain. When one EGF binds to each of the binding sites, the extracellular parts of the monomers stretch towards each other, creating a dimerization arm. The C-terminus tails of one monomer enter the active site of the tyrosine kinase domain on the opposite monomer and are phosphorylated. The protein GRB2 binds to these phosphorylated tails. Then the protein SOS binds to GRB2. Afterwards, a GDP-bound RAS protein binds to SOS, allowing SOS to exchange the GDP for GTP. This activates RAS. The activated RAS activates RAF kinase, which continues the MAP kinase pathway. One product of this pathway is cyclin D, a protein stimulating cell division. Normally, RAS is stopped when RAS gap hydrolyzes GTP to GDP, inactivating RAS. However, a mutation in RAS prevents RAS gap from inactivating RAS, so RAS is constantly in an on state. Common point mutations in RAS responsible for this are at the 12th codon, which is a glycine to valine substitution, and at the 61st codon. An upregulated EGFR slash RAS pathway causes excessive amounts of cyclin D to be produced. This promotes cell division and results in an increased risk of cancer. If we return to our race analogy, the team with the mutated RAS would be disqualified because the mutated RAS would just keep on running. Cancer affects many people. In 2018, there were around 9.5 million cancer-related deaths worldwide. Some risk factors of cancer are tobacco use, alcohol consumption, and an unhealthy diet. Regular screening increases the chance that a tumor will be detected early on in its development. Early detection is critical so that patients can receive successful treatment.